Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 25th of August. Foundation of Indo-Greek relations ancient and strong says PM Modi. Rights body slams Pakistan over enforced disappearances cases. And Pakistan should end verbal conflict and address root issues, says Taliban minister. And now for all the details. After attending 15th BRICS summit in South Africa, PM Modi on Friday arrived in Greece on a day-long visit, the first by an Indian premier in 40 years, for talks with his Greek counterpart, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, to strengthen bilateral ties. PM Modi commenced his visit by paying tribute at the tomb of the unknown soldier in Athens. Modi was also conferred with the Grand Cross of the Order of Honour by Greek President in Athens. In the joint press statement with Mitsotakis, PM Modi said Greece and India are a natural match and the foundation of the relations between the two countries is ancient and strong. He further said we have agreed to empower military relations as well as the defence industry and both the countries have decided to double the bilateral trade by 2030. We have decided that we have defence and security, infrastructure, krishi, Siksha, new and emerging technology or skill development ke kshetro mein apne sahiyog ko bhaja kar apne strategic partnership ko majbuti denge. Friends, raksha or suraksha ke kshetro mein humne sainya sabandho ke saath saath raksha udyogon ko bhi bal dene par sahmati jatai. The last high-level visit to Greece took place in September 1983 when then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi travelled to the country. India and Greece enjoy civilizational ties which have strengthened in recent years through cooperation in areas like maritime transport, defence, trade and investments and people-to-people -people ties. The Indian Space Agency ISRO on Friday released fresh visuals of Pragyan rover rolling out of the Vikram lander to the lunar surface, marking its first steps over the moon. The agency informed that all activities are on schedule and all systems are going normal. Chandrayaan-3 is expected to remain functional for two weeks to run a few experiments including a spectrometer analysis of the lunar surface's mineral composition. ISRO chief S. Somnath has said that they chose the South Pole of the Moon for landing because it has the potential to get more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface. India scripted history after landing on the unexplored South Pole of the Moon, making it the first country to achieve the feat just days after Russia's Luna 25 failed in a similar mission. With a never rest attitude, ISRO is getting ready for the next chapter of its space events. The Indian Space Agency has a long list of missions after the Chandrayaan-3. We have gone closer to South Pole, which is 70 degree almost. So the South Pole has a speci special uh, advantage with respect to being less illuminated by the sun. And because of that, there is a potential to have more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface and also elemental composition and other activities uh, which is an electrical activity on surface of the moon to be more dominant there than what it is there at the equator. Lack of proper roads and infrastructure in Pakistan's Batagram district which witnessed the terrifying chairlift accident is forcing students to travel long distances on foot. A report. School students of Batungi Pashto Government High School in Pakistan are concerned whether they will be able to continue their education after the only mode of transport, a chairlift, met with a terrifying accident on Tuesday. Students say the region lacks of basic facilities like roads, hospitals or educational institutes. They say in absence of these infrastructures, they are forced to rely on cable cars to go to school every day. Following the Tuesday accident, students are faced with having to travel long distances on foot, which the teachers believe can severely affect their studies. 
मुंचे पहले ले रागले उन जब मुंगा दूरी घंटी वो लग रही अब दूरी घंटी वो आपस पतलू लगी अब यही वो जब पहले लागले जब किलासुना हराबी गया हो जब मुंगा किलासुना से कि मुंगा स्कूल हराबी बहुत मसले सर हमारे इलाकों में सहूलत नहीं है हम जब नीचे आते हैं तो हमारा घंटा लगता है वैसे हमारे तकरीबन 20 मिनट लगते थे लिफ्ट में आने में तो बहुत तकलीफ है हमारे मजदूर हमारे इलाके के जो मजदूर बच्चे बीमार हैं मजदूर हैं बूढ़े हैं सबको मसला है और हमें फैसिलिटीज जो है फराम कीजिए अच्छा होगा ऑफिशियल से दे आर वेयर ऑफ द कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ नेचर एंड द कंप्लेक्सिटी ऑफ इश्यू इन द माउंटेनियस रीजन ऑफ द बटाग्राम Authorities say they are considering remote learning and small-scale schools so that female students can access education. Um, it's a difficult life and it's a difficult uh, problem, but because of the complexity of nature and complexity of this issue, um, we are trying to bring in innovative ideas uh, such as remote learning and uh, more uh, small-scale schools. Uh, especially for females so that they can have basic access to education. Rights body Amnesty International on Wednesday slammed Pakistan over the multiple cases of enforced disappearances and called on the government to end the use of such practices. In a statement, the rights body termed enforced disappearances as a cruel crime and said such practices leaves a devastating impact on victims and the family members. The statement also demanded information on the whereabouts of the missing persons from the government. Activists and rights bodies have long accused Pakistan security forces of using enforced disappearances as a tool to target critics and muzzle any dissent against the establishment. Taliban's acting foreign minister Amir Khan Muttaki met with the director of the Institute of Strategic Studies Islamabad and emphasized that Pakistan must prioritize identifying the underlying causes of its issues rather than resorting to blame game and public declarations. In a statement, Muttaki underscored the profound cultural and historical ties binding Afghanistan and Pakistan. He passionately advocated for a future marked by amicable coexistence and empathetic collaboration between neighboring nations. Muttaki's call for relations founded upon mutual respect and understanding reflects a desire to foster lasting harmony and cooperation in the region. Islamabad has blamed Kabul for a string of deadly attacks in Pakistan's tribal region bordering Afghanistan and accused the Taliban of not doing enough to control the movement of armed groups from crossing the porous border. Bangladesh Foreign Ministry in a statement said that the further delays in commencing safe, voluntary and sustainable repatriation of Rohingyas and lack of humanitarian support may put the entire region at risk, Dhaka Tribune has reported. Rohingyas, a stateless Muslim minority in Myanmar, fled violence in their homeland at a staggering rate in 2017. The report further stated that the international community should continue to provide necessary humanitarian support till the sustainable repatriation which marks the sixth anniversary of a crackdown on Rohingyas by Myanmar's military forces. Densely populated Bangladesh says repatriation to Myanmar is the only solution to the crisis. Attempts to begin repatriation in 2018 and 2019 failed as the refugees, fearing prosecution, refused to go back. Local communities have been increasingly hostile towards the Rohingya as funding by international aid agencies for the refugees has dwindled. Nepal's ancient city of Lalitpur on Thursday observed the Buddhist festival of five summer gifts Yala Panchadan. On the occasion, barefooted monks walk around the ancient town chanting hymns and collecting the five summer gifts, rice grains, wheat grains, fruit, salt and money from the residents. According to legends, the practice of Panchadan started during the rule of King Ramananda, who generously donated the wealth he inherited. On this day, Buddhist artifacts are also displayed in monasteries and giant idols of Dipankar Buddhas are paraded around town. आधा कुछ दिन के तब मेरे को सब नहीं लेती के सब तब मेरे को चामल तब मेरे को दान करने चलन था पैसा तब मेरे को अन्य आमर इसको जितने को बुद्ध आरुतन सुपे हुए हैं ता वहाँ को नाम तो तब मेरे को कमला आज भी बनता है तब मेरे को मोर देन तब मेरे को सिक्स सेवन अन्य ये पहले देखी चल रही आए को तब मेरे को 
That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.